What up, people? Oh, man. <clears throat> Pardon me. As I've said before in my previous um, videos, um, don't believe everything that you see on social media, especially YouTube. There's a lot of YouTubers. I'm not going to call their names, you know, but you see them. You know, they're like, you know, they got some nice arms. They're super ripped. They're cut up. And they got like 6% body fat, especially, you know, in the calisthenics community. And I'm going to be real with you, man. A lot of y'all in the calisthenics community, I'm not going to call people's names. Because I'm not trying to, you know, basically clout chase or whatever. I don't even want to be labeled as that. I'm just telling you straight up and now. Don't believe everything that you see on social media in regards to fitness as well as YouTube channels. I did 15 years of the penitentiary, man, day for day. And um, I've seen some of the best that you'll never see. And I'm not talking about guys that did like, that were doing like five or six years. I'm talking about dudes in the real that did what I did, 15, 20, 25, 30. Some of these guys on the real will never see daylight. And when you talk to these guys, you know, you know, you'll see them in the day room, what they would call a holding tank. It's a day room. And all they do is just push-ups. Push-ups, pull-ups, body squats, lunges. You know what I mean? In there, we didn't have time to, to look in the mirror, look at my body or whatever. In there, it was more like preparing for war. Because in there, you know what I'm saying? The beast gonna come out of you or the bitch gonna come out of you. You know what I mean? If you go in there, a pussycat, you're gonna leave out there a lion or a tiger. If you go in there, a sheep, you're gonna leave out there a wolf. That's what time do to you, you know what I mean? You find out who you are, but not to, you know, go somewhere else. But a lot of people that you see on YouTube who, you know, are physically appealing, they're just trying to get you to buy a product, get you to, you know, buy a, a T-shirt or buy a meal plan. You see this guy's body and you're like, wow, man. So maybe if I, you know, if I basically do what he's doing, I'll look like that. You can look like that. You know what I'm saying? But for an individual to tell you that he achieved all of that out here, you know what I'm saying? Without taking any um, performance enhancing drugs. Is a mother he's a motherfucking lie. You know what I mean? For real. You know, you can get to a certain level. Like I mean, I would be considered, you know, bloated. You know what I mean? In the summer, you know, I lose, you know, I lose weight, you know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Not in the single digits. Some people for one are genetically gifted. But me doing time, I've seen the strongest. And I'm going to tell you why they're the strongest. Imagine you being locked up 25 years. You got a 25-year sentence. Or you got a 50-year sentence. And your mama just died. And you can't go to the funeral. Or your wife once sends you a letter saying that she has to go on with life. Or you found out that your little girl was molested beaten and dismembered and you can't do anything about it but what it's either one or two things you're gonna do you know what I mean you're either gonna sit there or let time or and let time do you or find an outlet so a lot of guys you know what I'm saying in in prison what they did was some of them for one became literally one with the system psychologically and became a uh, something of use, something that's acceptable in the system. 
gang member, homosexual, uh, mentally disturbed, fucked up in the head, basically, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to attack, you know what I'm saying, the homosexual community, hey, you do what you do, you know what I'm saying? But yo, hey, it is what it is, that's what y'all do, but, um, so when you're dealing with certain situations like that, you know what I'm saying? When you suffer loss and your hands are tied, you know, I used to, you know, I used to use this saying that the uh, AA, the AA meetings used to say, um, accepting the things that I cannot change and change the things that I can't. So I basically use the time and I allow the time to use me. So that's where the term lava bottom uh, derived from, you know. When you're in a situation where you're surrounded by like pressure, you know, you can't do anything. You can't, you know, see what your baby mama's doing. You can't see what your wife is doing. You can't attend a funeral. You can't protect your son from danger. You can't do anything but accept things for what they are. One or two things is gonna happen to you. Either you're gonna break or the situation that you're dealing with is gonna basically mold you and shape you into a diamond. And that's what I did. I didn't watch TV. I didn't run in groups. I didn't come out of, of you know, of a pop tart or anything like that. I came out, you know what I'm saying, a warrior. You know what I'm saying, not a warrior in, in regards to physical, but a warrior in regards to mental. I use that same principle, you know what I'm saying, to help deal with the fact of me Losing my son this year, July. You know what I'm saying? He was murdered. You know what I'm saying? Did, do I hurt? Yes, I do. But this is one of the reasons I say that inmates are stronger than a lot of these men out here, especially these guys that you see on YouTube, who's pumping themselves up with all types of, you know what I'm saying, PDs. You know what I mean? Now, you're not gonna walk around, or none of the inmates who I was at were walking around 6% body fat. They, it's not. You may put size on, but it's only temporary. You know what I'm saying? The inmates, you know what I'm saying? I did time in TDC, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. I'm you know, originally from New York City. You know what I'm saying? But I've been down there for some time. Um, a lot of the guys in prison you know, when I went in, when I went in the 90s, you know, they were just taking the weights from the inmates. So when they took the weights from the inmates, a lot of the inmates who were super swole, they relied on free weights. I got a little taste of what it was like to pick up weights, heavy iron. So what did I do? When they took the free iron, and they also took the creatine. Inmates were taking creatine. What did I do? I started relying on practicing my own body weight. I did dips, I did pull-ups, I did push-ups. And like a lot of the inmates, I didn't like to train legs. But when I started reading about what legs actually help do for you, helps you stand up in a fight. You know, I was in an aggressive environment. I wasn't trying to work out to have big legs. I had to basically find a way to help strategically deal with adversaries. A lot of guys in prison, they like to train their upper bodies, but they didn't train legs. So in the process, I learned how to do uh, body squats. From I started from 30, 50, to 100, to 500 straight. You know what I'm saying? Reading about Ken Shamrock's uh, 500 body squat challenge. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was one of the uh, requirements to join the, uh, his Lion Den group. Although, I, I'm not a member of that, but uh, yeah, I did a lot of reading and so forth, but I did 1,000 jumping jacks. Um, I got up to 1,000 body squats, you know. Um, at that time, I didn't know the difference between quarter squats. I didn't know the difference between uh, parallel squats and ass to grass, but I was just doing them. But my legs, they changed, you know what I'm saying? And there were days where I was sore, you know what I mean? Straight up and out. There were days where I got into a fight while having sore legs. But they help me, you know what I mean? Straight up and down. But um, what am I trying to say? I'm saying that while doing time, I saw 
the real. I saw natural. I saw the best. Out here, everything that you see on social media, especially on YouTube, is fake. You got guys, man, that's taking TRT. They do shit for views. They're taking HGH. They're taking all types of shit. You know what I mean? For real. The main thing that I mainly take is coffee, and every now and then I take creatinine. Yes, I've had my choices of taking um, pre-workouts. I was one of those dudes where when I got free, I wanted to buy all types of pre-workouts. But the thing about it is the main thing that I was trying to taste in the pre-workout is coffee, caffeine. So I just say, fuck it, I'm just going to buy me $4 a thing of a coffee. You know what I mean? And that's what the inmates basically are drinking in prison. That's our pre-workout. And uh, our other pre-workout is rage. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have time to do these flashy ass exercises. You see guys doing all these push ups and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, doing muscle ups. Some guys are doing muscle ups. You'll never see me doing a video. Uh, well, I can't say never, but you'll never. There's no video or ever in the, in the history of me doing a muscle up. I'll do just straight pull ups and fucking dips. But that's all we did, man. And drank coffee. You know, you got guys like, um, I ain't gonna call his name, but you know, guys talking about they did 10 years and um, they they ate top ramen noodle soups. Yo, homie, you know, you got a lot of people fooled, bro. But on the real, the real, I seen the real. You know, I did 15 years. Some of you guys on the real, y'all come out and y'all make, y'all turn, y'all turn um, YouTube. Y'all make prison into like a, like it's a business. Prison is not about um, uh, entertainment. It's it's about you know servitude. It's about you know what I'm saying industrialized slavery. But that's another topic. You know what I mean? For real, we glorify uh, prison life. Some of these cats. You know what I'm saying? Roll talk. Some of you individuals for one that, that's making these videos with your shirt off and everything, talking about you did all this time. I know individuals like you on the real that would be busting a 50, getting, turning, bending over, or you got to fight. You know what I mean? For real. You know, I didn't see a lot of dudes, as soon as they walk in, they get, yo, where you from? And they, well, they, they want to basically see where your heart is. You know what I mean? And, um... It was a lot of dudes on the real man that appeared to be. I got more respect for put it like I got more respect for a dude on the way that wear Kool Aid on his face and just come out and say yo this is who I am, than for a dude that looks real hardcore or whatever. Cause a lot of them hardcore dudes man, you know that's on the internet talking this shit. You know on the real you would be a straight punk, real talk. You'd be watching draws. You know what I mean for real. You know straight up and now. Not gonna call your name, but individuals that be making got like all these followers. And some of you dudes too, man, you know what I'm saying? That are like talking about you's an animal and you this and you da 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 da. Man, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Go do 20 years and do 15 years surrounded by motherfuckers that ain't never going home. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Straight up and down. And they're not all super fainty and all of that shit because that's fake. You motherfucker that you see doing that shit, they taking something. Straight up and down. You know, your body doesn't stay like that all year round, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real. Stop fooling these young people. But uh, to a lot of you young people, man, don't get caught up into the illusions, the lies. You know what I mean? Because I'm taking from an OG, you know, and I'm not hating or whatever. But it's like I'm not impressed by, you know attention and trying to get all these views and all that shit you know what i mean for real y'all might be you know what i'm saying straight up and now you see a guy that's doing a bunch of pull-ups and he telling you you can look like this here all year round shredded yeah you may get cut you know what i'm saying but you're not going to be super vascular all year round this that's not that's not us unhealthy some of these natural bodybuilders for him, you know what I'm saying? Who appear to be super like, oh my God, he looks strong. You know, they're not telling you that their hormones, for one, are messed up and that they, they, they're they feeling lethargic and, and sluggish, you know what I'm saying? Because of low T's and stuff like that, you know what I mean? 
Um, me, I basically learn how to do what I do while being incarcerated, you know. Um, I'm an advocate of fasting. In certain situations like where I was at, we had to learn how to fast. You know, learn how to be, go without. You know, you'll get up, you, you'll be standing there, next thing you know, rack it up, they lock it down, and you lock down for the next 30 to 60 days. And during that day, the first day of lockdown, you waiting 12, 10 hours to eat you a, eat you a bullshit cheese sandwich and a, a quarter, uh, a, a, a pint of milk. You know what I'm saying? Or a quarter, uh, a little thing of milk. You know what I mean? So... The thing about it is don't believe everything that you see, man. And, and and until if you really want to see, you know, what real strength is, and if you really want to see what real natural muscle is, you know what I'm saying? I hope you don't ever have to experience what I experienced because I've seen it for 15 calendar years. And uh, in there, it wasn't about look at my abs, look at my biceps. It was about training for war, straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? I didn't use no knife. I, I, I did shit, man, to condition my hands for war. You know what I mean? I didn't have this crap. You know what I'm saying? That's the level. You know, all that pretty shit. You know, if you if you up in there trying to look pretty and all that, you might as well be a faggot. You know, and I'm not trying to knock the homosexual community. I'm just telling you. You know, and there were, you know, they had some dudes up in there on the road that were sweet, but will knock you the fuck out. You know what I mean? Real talk. But again, I'm not trying to throw or throw y'all off. I'm just saying, man, on the real. A lot of people on here that's claiming that they're super strong or whatever, you ain't really seen strength yet, man, until you go to a penitentiary, straight up and down. Imagine, on the real, you losing your your child and your and your wife, on the real, took everything that you got, you know what I'm saying, while you're incarcerated, you can't do anything about it. So, me, I was one of those dudes who had bad experiences, and I used those emotions in a constructive manner. I used anger in a constructive manner to do my time. And I didn't allow it to do me, straight up and down. Cause I could have came out fucked up. I could have came out a serial killer. I could have came out, you know, whatever. Whatever the system produces. The system didn't produce me, I produced myself. I was self-propelled. So it was me against everything up in there. You know what I mean? Straight up and down. And that's what you get. You get the real, you know what I mean? None of this, you know, I'm super, you know. I can see my six pack, you know what I'm saying? I can see my body, I can, you know what I'm saying, do, do, do things with my body from doing from doing time. But the thing about it is, is that I'm not here to try to lie to people like some of these guys do and sell an image. The thing about it is, is that I'm trying to tell you. A lot of these guys that you see on YouTube and on these channels and shit, they taking something. The guys who I was surrounded by who were never going home, the only thing they had was a cup of coffee. They already took the creatine, so we didn't have creatine. And then some of them relied on, on, on oatmeal as well as um, peanut butter. So, you know, hey, like I said. Well, anyway, I hope this video for one was uh, somewhat informative to y'all. And uh, like I said, don't believe everything that you see on YouTube. Because a lot of these guys, especially on Instagram, Insta garbage, are liars. And they're just basically trying to dig in your pockets and take your money. If you want a pre-workout, just drink your cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? Take you some creatine. You know what I'm saying? Or some, if you have issues with bloat, take you some uh, creatine. All right? One well, love, y'all. Peace.